in this video we derive equation of work power and blade efficiency stage efficiency for steam turbine so first we start from the work and for find out the work we need to first find out the force so first we find out the equation of force and the equation of the force is find out by using the newton's law of moment so force is equal to rate of change of moment so what is the meaning of rate of change of moment rate of change of moment is equal to mass into acceleration okay so rate of change of momentum is equal to mass into acceleration and acceleration is the change of velocities means it is the velocity squares the change of velocity of wall will produce a force on a blades okay so why this wall velocity is considered to find out the force because in the last derivation what we consider the blade is moving in the linear direction okay and the v1 velocity of the steam is supplied okay and the horizontal component of this v1 velocity is the wall velocity that's why the wall velocity is considered in the equations of force so force is equal to mass in bracket vw1 minus vw2 means it is a change of velocity change of velocity is the vw1 minus vw2 so in a last video of the velocity triangle we study the various types of the velocity v1 vf1 vw1 vb relative velocity why we consider vw1 and vw2 that i already explains because we consider the blade is moving in the linear direction and the linear velocity means horizontal velocity is vw1 and the vw2 but from the velocity triangle it could be noticed that the exit wall velocity vw2 is in opposite direction of vw1 so vw2 is considered negative now here you see this triangle that we derived in the last video this vw1 is in this direction okay means they are moving from left to right and vw2 is moving from the right to left means its direction is opposite so when these directions are opposite the vw2 is considered as the negative okay so we can modify this equation so here we putting this negative vw2 and this negative negative is the positive so for equation of the force is mass in bracket vw1 plus vw2 and instance of vw1 plus vw2 we can simply return it is a wall velocity vw so our final equation is the mass into vw means mass into velocity now we find out this equation of work done so what is the work done so here we find out work done on the moving plates and work done is denoted as the w so work done is equal to force into distance move per second okay, so we already find out equation of the force force is m into vw so here we putting m into vw and distance move per seconds means it is the velocity of the blade means what distance travels by the blade per second so it is also called as the velocity of the blades okay so here we written as the vb vb means the velocity of blade and unit of this work done is the joule now next we find out this power power produced by turbine so power is equal to work done per second means this same equation are there but it is per second so it is a m into vw into vb just unit is change that is a joule per second and joule per second is also written as the watt okay so it is the same unit joule per second is also written as the watt now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of this mechanical engineering for power plant engineering various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other subject i request to visit the playlist now second we find out the blade efficiency and this blade efficiency is denoted by using these symbols and what is the definition of the blade efficiency the efficiency is the ratio of the output upon input okay means every efficiency is find out by using output upon input here we find out the efficiency of the blade means what is the output of the blade and what is the input of the blades okay so output of the blade is the work produced by the blade and the input of the blade is energy supplied to the blades okay so equation is written like this way work done by the blade here on the blade is written what here the blade is produce some work okay and divided by energy supplied to the blades so what which energy we supply we supply the steam okay and in the steam that is a kinetic energy are there and what is the equation of kinetic energy 
equation of the kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 m into velocity square. And equation of the work done by the blade that we already find out. Okay. So we just be putting this value of this equation. So work done is the mass into Vw into Vb. And what is the kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is 1 by 2 m v1 squares. Okay. So this is just simple equations of the blade efficiency. Then further simplified, this 2 is supplied in these upper parts and this mm is cancelled. So final equation is the 2 Vw into Vp divided by V1 square. Blade efficiency can also be defined as change in kinetic energy of steam divided by kinetic energy supplied. Means in the blade, kinetic energy of the steam is reduced. Okay, so it is called as the change in kinetic energy. Means what is the kinetic energy at the input and what is the kinetic energy at the output divided by kinetic energy supply means input kinetic energy okay so it is written like this way 1 by 2 m v1 square minus v2 square why here the v1 is written first because at the input kinetic energy are higher when the steam is strike on the blade they lost some kinetic energy means outlet kinetic well uh, outlet kinetic energy is less okay so it is the v2 square is written here minus and the divided by kinetic energy supplied so kinetic energy supplied is 1 by 2 m v1 squares okay so here this 1 by 2 and m is cancelled so what is the remaining equation v1 square minus v2 square divided by v1 square now when this blade efficiency is maximum blade efficiency is maximum when v2 is minimum means value of this v2 is minimum at that time the blade efficiency is higher I means suppose we consider this v2 is equal to 0 okay then what's the remaining equation it is v1 square divided by v1 square means blade efficiency is 100 percent okay so this v2 is minimum at that time we achieve the maximum blade efficiency now third definition is the stage efficiency now what is the stage stage means combination of nozzle and the blade or a combination of fixed blade or a moving blade it is called as the stage okay so a row of nozzle or a fixed blade okay so we study in the various types of the compounding in a some compounding the nozzle is used in a some compounding the fixed blade is used okay so row of nozzle and the row of moving blade consists the one stage of the turbine means one nozzle plus one moving blade make the one stage instance of nozzle we use the fixed blade then the fixed blade plus moving blade is make the one stage and energy supplied in a each stage is in terms of isentropic heat drop means we can consider what amount of the energy supply in a terms of isentropic heat drop not in the form of velocity not in the form of the pressure energy but we can consider in the isentropic heat drops so equation is work done by the blades divided by energy supplied to the blades so equation of the work done we already find out that is m vw into vb and energy supplied to the blade in the terms of isentropic heat drop means in the form of enthalpy drops okay so it is a delta h into 100 okay and this stage efficiency is also written as the efficiency of nozzle into efficiency of blades because we mention here that it is the combination of nozzles and the moving blade so if we know the efficiency of the nozzles if we know the efficiency of the moving blades then we can able to find out the stage efficiency means it is simply a multiplication of the nozzle efficiency and the blade efficiency if there are no friction losses at that time the nozzle efficiency is considered as the one okay means suppose we consider there is a no friction losses in the nozzle then this nozzle efficiency is one and when this nozzle efficiency is one at that time what happened the stage efficiency is equal to blade efficiency okay so stage efficiency is also written as the blade efficiency if we consider there is a no friction losses in the nozzle now the last term is the axial thrust and axial thrust is denoted as the fa so what is the fa fa is also one types of the force but it is in the axial directions okay so it is a mass into acceleration in the axial directions okay means here we can need to consider some different velocity okay at the starting we find out the force okay so at that time we consider the wall velocity okay so it is in the horizontal direction but here we need to consider velocity in the vertical directions okay so fa is equal to mass into change in the velocity in the axial directions so it is a m into vf1 minus vf2 because this vf and vf2 is the velocity of flow and this velocity are in the axial direction of the 
sub that's why instance of vw1 and vw2 we use the vf1 and vf2 the thrust bearing are provided in the turbine in order to take the axial thrust on the wheel so when this axial thrust force is acting on the turbine for that we need to provide the bearing that's bearing name is given the thrust bearing so thank you for watching this video if you learn something like the video subscribe my channels and don't forget to share with your friends